what what are you doing here? We're making a documentary film on Therapist Behind the Front Lines. This is a perspective on the psychological toll of warfare through the eyes of therapists working in the military and the VA system. Okay, how'd you come up with this idea? Well, I've taught psychopathology and clinical uh, courses for decades and have been interested for some time in the history of diagnostic categories as they relate to warfare, PTSD being of course the most well-known example, but the history of diagnoses that are uh, shaped by military history in the U.S. and also have been interested in the history of the relationship between psychology more broadly, the mental health professions and the military. Increasingly, the military in the U.S. has drawn on psychology and behavioral health uh, professionals to carry out the work of the military. And we're interested to hear and, and understand what that work is. What are some of the ethical dilemmas or the, the dilemmas around treatment clinicians face working in the field, as well as with the aftermath of war uh, through the VA system and the vet centers. Okay. Is uh, what they do here as military clinicians, this is different than what your normal students would see? This is quite different. This is a role that clinicians carry as they go, um, as they're part of a combat stress control unit. There's about 35 or 40 clinicians or people with various uh, backgrounds related to a mental health team, for example, psychiatry, psychology, psychiatric nurse, occupational therapist, uh, mental health uh, uh, technician one. This is a broad uh, team of clinicians who are going into a war zone, what they say, de as they call it, downrange. In this case, they're going to Afghanistan. And they'll be expected to work both on the prevention side, intervening to prevent um, psych psychiatric casualties or long-term psychiatric problems such as post-traumatic stress disorder or suicide, that there's some thinking that intervening early on in theater can help prevent long-term psychiatric uh, problems associated with warfare. And they also have this uh, job of maintaining the fighting forces, getting people back into uh, combat. And for many clinicians, this is a this is a, a conflict in a sense because uh, they're both to maintain the fighting forces as as um, through their role working for the military, but they're also expected to identify problems and to protect the psychological welfare of soldiers. So this is a um, a kind of conflict or conflicting mandate. These conflicting mandates are at the center of our documentary. What do you hope to accomplish with this uh, with the documentary? Well, I'm a clinical psychologist, also a researcher and a community psychologist, interested in bringing mental health problems into the community and educating the public on controversial and complex topics. Many people are aware of PTSD as an effect of warfare, but not so much about broader emotional impacts of, of a warfare, um, dilemmas around treatment, some of the the um, difficulties that clinicians face in carrying this enormous burden. In some ways, it's a mission impossible to deal with all of the, the impacts of adjustment, everyday adjustment to military service and particularly in combat zones, but also the aftermath of that. And so it, our, my hope is that as the community understands more and we're able to demystify the psychological impacts of warfare, that people will be less, less uh, I think, fearful of veterans and have a better understanding of what we all carry as a responsibility here as citizens, what we take um, soldiers into and how we bring them home. Okay. Uh, what has been the most surprising thing you've seen about the Army, psych, psych, uh, Army Behavioral Health Team? The, the role of uh, the soul, I understood that there would be this dual role, that if you go into a combat zone as a, as a specialist in, um, in, your, in your civilian life, carry a, a role as a clinician, that you're also expected to be able to jump into service as a soldier and you, um, 
although it's not likely these clinicians will actually carry out any of the roles that are simulated here. But the extent to which they're also expected to um, um, carry a role as soldier has been surprising. Although I think some of this is intended to give clinicians a, an understanding of the terrain they're entering and the kinds of problems that soldiers they, who they see in treatment might be experiencing. So some of it is understanding and to bridge the gap, which is quite a vast one between the world they've left as clinicians in the United States and the world they're entering and dealing with soldiers. Is there anything you'd like to add? Good. I wish them all the best of luck, and I'm glad I'm going with them. We're going. We're deploying with this unit, and I really look forward to seeing how they respond once their boots hit the ground.